Hey everyone, Shane here with eTrailer.com. Today I have a 2021 Honda Pilot. I'm going to walk through how to install the eTrailer.com Class 3 trailer hitch receiver. Adding a hitch on the back of your Pilot is going to give you a lot of different options, whether that's towing a trailer, whether you're wanting to put a, a cargo carrier, maybe put a bike rack on. Having the 2 inch uh, receiver tube opening is going to allow or give you a lot of different options for hitch mount accessories. This is what our hitch is going to look like when it's on the vehicle. You see a cross tube is completely hidden behind the bumper fascia so it maintains a nice clean look. The only thing we really see is our receiver tube. The edge of the receiver tube actually sits back past the outer edge of our bumper fascia or underneath our vehicle. So if we're trying to get anything in and out of the back of the vehicle, we don't have to worry about hitting our shins or anything like that on it. Hitch is going to have a steel construction, black powder coat finish, so it's going to hold up really well against rust and corrosion. Two inch by two inch receiver tube opening, so again, it gives us a lot of different options for hitch, uh, hitch mounted accessories. Reinforced collar to help us clean up the look, and also it's going to give us a little extra stability there for uh, any of our hitch mount accessories we may have installed. Hitch pinhole here is going to be 5 8 inch in diameter. The hitch does not come with a pin and clip, however you can find it here at eTrailer.com. It's going to take a standard 5 8 hitch pin. We're going to have rolled steel safety chain loops. Uh, these are going to be welded on the bottom of the receiver tube. You can see we have very large openings, so it's going to accommodate different size safety chain hooks. Now I'm going to give you a few weight capacities and measurements to help you when deciding on any of your hitch mount accessories like your bike racks, cargo carriers, or ball mounts. From the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost part of our bumper fascia, it's going to be about four and a half inches. That number is important for any of your hitch mount accessories that may fold up. You want to make sure they're not going to make contact. From the ground to the top innermost part of our receiver tube, It's going to be about 14 and a half inches. Keep that number in mind for any re hitch mount accessories that may require a little more ground clearance. As far as our weight capacities go, we're going to have a 900 pound max tongue weight, which is downward pressure on the inside of the receiver tube. We're going to have a 6,000 pound gross trailer weight, which is a trailer plus the load included, and that's going to be how much the hitch can pull. You can use weight distribution with this hitch. Tongue weight is going to stay the same, however, trailer weight is going to go up to 8,000 pounds. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's walk you how to get it installed. To start our installation, we're going to need to lower our spare tire or remove it. We're going to come into the back of our vehicle, we're going to lift up this panel, and right in the middle we're going to have this uh, plastic cap. Take a flathead screwdriver or trim panel tool, we'll pop this up, you're going to have a rubber cap here, pull that up, and this is where we lower our spare tire. Come over to our driver's side, this panel right behind it is where your spare tire tools are. Pop this off, and on the lid, you're going to have this tool. We'll slide the end on, and then you just want to turn it to lower your tire. Now this is a brand new vehicle, but our mounting locations on our frame rails are open to the elements, so if you've driven your vehicle for a little while, it might be a good idea if you take a nylon tube brush and just clean out the threads, because we don't want our hardware to cross thread inside of there. We're going to have three on the passenger side and three on the driver's side. With the next set of hands, we're going to raise our hitch up into position. Our hardware, we're going to take a hex bolt, conical tooth washer, and make sure the teeth are facing up towards the hitch. We'll get one in place on each side. That'll help support the hitch while we install our remaining hardware. Once we get all of our hardware in place, we'll come back with a 7 8 socket and we'll tighten all of our hardware into place. Once we get all of our hardware tightened, we're going to come back and torque it to the specifications and the instructions. Once you have all your hardware torqued down, you can go ahead and reinstall your spare tire and reverse order from the way you took it off. It's going to do it for a look at installation on the eTrailer.com Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver on a 2021 Honda Pilot.